Hello and welcome to Collabnet TeamForge, the industry's leading platform for enterprise cloud development. In this video, we will cover a high-level introduction to the TeamForge platform as well as a demonstration of its key features. Collabnet TeamForge is the industry-leading enterprise platform to develop and deploy in the hybrid cloud, supporting Agile ALM with development tools for the design and traceability of all software application data from concept to deployment for Agile through DevOps, collaboration through reporting, lifecycle analytics, and social tools for real-time and offline communication within and across teams, community architecture allowing business, technology, and enterprise architecture mapping into collaborative and hierarchical categories, groups, and projects, as well as personal cross-project workspaces with dashboards and monitoring. Enterprise Cloud Development Asset Management, allowing users to search and trace project development assets across tools, projects, teams, and hybrid locations and clouds. Let's get started by looking at the architecture of the TeamForge application. When users log into TeamForge, they are brought to a personalized view of their projects, news, assigned items, monitored objects, and personal settings called My Workspace. Work takes place in the context of a project. A project is a centralized workspace for distributed teams that contains an integrated set of tools for development, from planning to deployment, for collaboration, and for orchestration. Projects are managed by project administrators who configure these project tools and determine which tools and assets each project member can access via configurable, role-based access controls. With assigned permissions, team members can work with tools and project assets via the TeamForge web interface or one of the CollabNet desktops. All of the assets for each TeamForge project are stored in a central repository. TeamForge users have the ability to link any of the assets within a project to assets in the same or different projects through the use of the TeamForge association functionality. For example, a subversion commit message can be associated with the tracker enhancement artifact for which the coding change was made. Or a discussion forum post can be associated with a wiki page that summarizes the discussion. Each TeamForge asset has an Associations tab which displays links to the associated data allowing users to quickly find information related to any asset they are viewing. In addition, each TeamForge asset can be monitored by users who want to be notified when updates or changes are made to the asset. Now let's jump into the TeamForge application. When I first log into TeamForge, I'm brought to My Workspace. My Workspace is a portal-like view into the items that are associated with my participation across the projects in which I have membership or access permissions. Under the My Page tab, I can find links to projects and assets I've recently accessed, as well as information about items that are currently assigned to me, such as tracker artifacts, Items I've created, such as tracker artifacts, submitted tasks, and document reviews. Items which are awaiting my approval, such as task approvals, project membership, and role requests. And project news. The dashboard tab contains information related to the progress of the projects I am working on. The projects tab displays a list of projects in which I am a member, as well as all projects to which I have access. The Monitoring tab contains a list of all the assets I'm monitoring, and the My Settings tab is where I can update my personal settings, such as my profile picture, profile description, email addresses, organization, and password. Now let's take a look at a project. We will start by clicking on the name of a project. When we first enter a project, we will see the project's home page content, which is managed by TeamForge project pages and components, or a set of custom HTML pages. These project pages are configurable by the project administrator and can contain information such as a project description, project news, project statistics and analytics, documents, tracker search results, and wiki page contents. 
For this reason, each project in which we are a member will likely contain different information on its project homepage. The next thing we'll see is the project toolbar, which contains links to the tools for which the project administrator has granted us access. In this example, the project administrator has granted us access to the core development tools, tracker, source code, build and test, file releases, review, and orchestrate. We also have access to the core collaboration tools, documents, wiki, discussions, and reports. Because TeamForge uses open APIs, you can bring your own tools to the framework. This flexibility allows you to better support your software development lifecycle. The assets we can view and the actions that we can execute within each tool are determined by the project settings and role-based access permissions granted to us by the project administrator. Next, let's take a look at the core development tools most typically available to each project. The driving force behind the work we do is the need for change, whether it's in response to an upgrade, a new request, or an issue needing correction. With TeamForge, we leverage the Tracker tool to manage and organize the work required when developing source code. Trackers can be created to track any kind of asset or work item through the life cycle of a development project. Common tracker types include requirements, epics, user stories, defects, impediments, and tasks. A project can have multiple trackers, each containing customized fields, auto-assignment rules, and state-based workflow rules to guide each type of artifact through its unique life cycle. The data for a given tracker artifact can be edited within the artifact edit screen, or in the tracker summary view, allowing for in-place multi-artifact updates. In addition, the tracker tool includes customizable planning folders. Planning folders allow us to organize the artifacts across each of our trackers into time-based units of work. A good example is an agile process where cross-tracker artifacts can be organized into product, release, and iteration folders. Toggling to the planning board view, we have a more visual format showing the various tracker artifacts ranked within their planning folders. These can be reorganized and re-ranked by dragging and dropping from one position to another. The changes are reflected in the list view. Planning folder-based reporting is available by default with burn down, open by priority, open versus closed, and capacity charts. The heart of any development project's intellectual property is the source code. The TeamForge source code tool allows project administrators to create one or more repositories within their projects and optionally replicate those repositories to geographically distributed Subversion Edge servers. Subversion, Git, and CVS are integrated with TeamForge by default. Integrations with other SCM tools such as ClearCase and Perforce are also available. An optional integration with Black Duck Code Site can index repository source code files for searching. Optional integrations with Review Board or Garrett can also provide pre-commit code review workflow when desired. From the source code tool in the TeamForge web interface, repositories can be browsed and information such as commit messages, revision logs, and file diffs can be displayed. Developers can perform actions on a repository such as checkout, update, check-in, etc. through an SCM client, IDE, or CollabNet desktop. Source code repositories can be used as either sources or targets for a build and test jobs running on integrated continuous integration servers like Jenkins. Subversion Edge repository data can also be archived on a frequent scheduled basis using the services of CloudForge, CollabNet's development platform as a service, or DPoS. As software developers commit changes to source code based on their assigned artifacts, 
They can automatically create a commit association by including the tracker artifact ID in the commit message. The project administrator can specify this artifact association as required or optional for each repository. These commit associations are extremely powerful as they allow teams to work with artifact-based change sets which clearly identify all work done to implement a new feature or bug fix. These artifact-based change sets can easily be merged into other source code paths as required. Once we've updated our source code, it's time to create a build of our product. Build and test tools tie TeamForge with a continuous integration engine such as Jenkins or Hudson, making it possible for developers to automate the build and test aspects of the development process and bring transparency to projects. Builds running on the CI server can use TeamForge source code repositories as both the source and target for build operations. The status of builds can be configured to create new or update existing TeamForge tracker artifacts with build status. Reviews are positioned within the lifecycle according to the team's process workflow and tools. Based on your development lifecycle, you may use pre- or post-commit reviews or a combination of the two. Review Board is a web-based code review tool which enables development teams to catch bugs and design errors before the code becomes part of the product or application. Garrett is also a web-based code review tool enabling online code reviews and providing access control features specific to projects using Git. Garrett provides code review capabilities for developers using Git similar to the Review Board functionality for developers using Subversion. In fact, both pairs of tools could be used simultaneously in an enterprise-grade hybrid SCM model for a TeamForge site or project if required. Centralized code review functionality is important in enabling agile pair programming asynchronously with distributed developers. The compiled code or built objects from our builds are stored in the file release system. Here, we can create a custom folder structure of packages, file releases, and files. Team members can easily browse the folder structure and download entire packages, selected releases, or individual files. The ability to use these and other third-party tools to support our development process means that we need some way to coordinate the data and information from each. TeamForge Orchestrate does just that. By creating pipelines to describe our processes in terms of work items, commits, builds, and reviews, and tying each of our tools to the pipeline steps, Orchestrate provides automatic traceability between all important lifecycle stages. Chronological activity streams enable monitoring of important activities such as commits, reviews, tests, and builds, as well as social collaboration on important development activities, with activity details available for each item. By tracing associations, we can visually analyze the relationships between all activities in the pipeline. Associated with any development project is a plethora of related information, documentation, discussions, and reports, which can be organized within the TeamForge project collaboration tools. The Documents tool allows us to share and collaborate on files organized within a customizable folder hierarchy. Documents are versioned and can be brought through a review process. When there is a need to collaborate in real time on project related information, the project wiki can be used. Wiki pages are an effective way of organizing information while allowing team members to contribute to that content. Conversations related to the development project can be captured in the Discussions tool. Discussions can be set up as web-based forums or mailing lists and can be configured as open or moderated depending on the topic being discussed. Discussion threads are archived and searchable, creating an effective knowledge base for the project. Lifecycle analytics can be added to the project homepage content as components. These interactive reports show metrics based on data from multiple projects and data sources. The reports can be customized using the user interface, so there is no need to be an expert at SQL queries to create expert results. 
New reports will be streamed to our customers as they become available. For users who prefer to work in a desktop tool, or IDE, CollabNet offers a suite of CollabNet desktops. The CollabNet Desktop Microsoft Windows Edition and Microsoft Outlook Edition are designed for non-developers who do not currently use an IDE but would like the convenience of a Windows-based client tool. The CollabNet Desktop Eclipse Edition is a set of plugins for the Eclipse IDE which enables Eclipse users to connect to their TeamForge sites, Subversion, and Git repositories. Similarly, CollabNet Desktop Visual Studio Edition is a set of plugins for Visual Studio, allowing Visual Studio users to connect to their TeamForge sites, Subversion, and Git repositories. And CollabNet GitEye is a powerful new graphical Git client with central visibility into essential developer tasks such as defect tracking, agile planning, code reviews, and build services. For more about using the CollabNet desktops or other integrated tools with TeamForge, please visit the CollabNet Certified Integrations page. Here you will find additional information about the functionality of each tool with links to demos, training, and downloads. Now let's take a look at just a couple of the project tool administration features provided by TeamForge. It's important to note that CollabNet TeamForge has a complete set of SOAP and REST APIs which provide a framework for the integration of additional development tools to extend the TeamForge platform. So more tools can be available in our project toolbar if additional tool integrations have been added to our site. Our access to and ability to work in the various project tools depends on the role or roles we have been granted within the project. A project administrator can define any number of custom roles for a project via the Permissions option in the Project Administration tool. Each role defines the set of permissions, on a tool-by-tool -tool basis, that members assigned to that role will be granted. Create, Edit, and View Action permissions can typically be defined on each folder or container within the tool. and permissions can also be set on individual paths within Subversion source code repositories. When a user is added to a project, the project administrator chooses the role or set of roles that user should have within the project to provide them with the appropriate level of access. CollabNet TeamForge also allows administrators to create and save project templates. Project templates encapsulate the overall project tool structure, default permissions, and initial project dataset to use as a starting point for a newly created project. This allows new projects to get started quickly and project teams to be assigned with little administrative overhead. CollabNet TeamForge ships with an Agile template that can be used as is or be customized for use with Agile-based projects. The Agile template contains project pages with information about how project tools can be used for Agile development, epics, stories, story tasks, defects, and test trackers, as well as a number of common roles such as product developer, product manager, and product tester with a set of default permissions assigned to each. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video useful. We've really only scratched the surface when it comes to features and functionality available in CollabNet TeamForge. To learn more, visit our website, our TeamForge community, or TeamForge training page. For example, additional training options can be found for TeamForge, Subversion, CollabNet desktops, and the Agile process. You can also download a trial of CollabNet TeamForge from our website to explore its features.